Okay, I have a ton of products sitting on my floor. I'm in the middle of decluttering and it just seems like a lot of these things are duplicates and I really don't need to hang on to the same thing over and over. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of go through these and weed out what I don't need. And I do have an overflow of products here as well. This is not even the stuff that I keep in my bathroom, stuff that I use day to day and love. I have in Z palettes, I have all my red apple lipstick shadows, which I won't part with, uh, Root Pretty shadows and blushes, Zulux and Gabriel. I love their shadows. They perform so well. So I'll, I'm going to put this on a tripod so that way I can swatch things. Okay, it might get a little shaky. I do have this on a tiny little tripod. And um, I will sh go ahead and show you guys. These are my Gabriel and Zuzu Lux shadows. These are um, Afterglow Cosmetics. These are the only five shades that I have in those. I'm keeping those. But uh, anything that I have on my floor that I kind of pan and showed you guys, if I have anything that's very similar to this, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. So I will kind of keep going back. I believe my 100% Pure is very close to this Zuzu uh, Lux shadow the Gabe I think that's a Gabriel uh, they're the same company <laughs> just <laughs> different uh, some different products but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the 100% pure because I prefer pans a lot better it's just easier when I'm looking for uh, bases and uh, transition colors and a major color. It's just kind of easier to have them in this type of format. Uh, this color is a little more peach than what's on here. These are some other Zuzu Lux uh, shadows that I have and I believe this one is, uh, this is 100% pure again. Very close to this color and this is in the color Ritual by uh, Zuzu Lux. So close so I'm going to get rid of the 100% pure. And let's see, the last 100% pure that I have is this color. And I should let you guys know maybe what the colors are. The first color that I showed you guys is Sugared. And hopefully there's not a glare. Second color that I was uh, looking for a dupe is Vanilla Sugar. And the last color that I'm uh, trying to uh, find and see if I have one that's in a uh, pan is uh, Quartz. And so this is a brown with a little bit of a purple hue. This is more purple. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I have. These are all my red apple and I know I have a mini tripod so it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I don't believe there's anything that's really close um, and this is in the color uh, Twinkle Taupe. Uh, I think that's pretty close to that. I didn't want to get into huge swatches, but that's uh, Twinkle Taupe, and oh yes, I mean this has more shimmer and a little bit more of a pinky uh, sheen to it, but gosh, I don't know. This is matte. I think I'd prefer more of a matte than a sheen. Um, this was the color in Rivet. This was from one of their palettes. Um, if you guys can see, I'm gonna swatch that. That's way more purple. Um, gosh, almost has like a gray cast to it. I really don't think I have a dupe for this. One more try. This was going back to the original Gabriel. This is um, Whisper. And I'm running out of fingers here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my thumb. Let's see. Okay, that's uh, that's definitely lighter, but between this color and this color, I can get this color. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. That's not one that I'm going to use very often. I believe that was it for uh, eyeshadows that I have out in front of me that I did the pan for. Um, just to let you guys know, I do have the Pretty Naked um palette by 100% pure that I'm holding on to. I have the mermaid palette. I'm keeping that. And then I haven't even touched this yet. But again, I think this color is very close to the one I showed you. I haven't even swatched or done anything with this one yet. This was the uh, Better Naked palette. So uh, those are the only three 100% uh, pure palettes that I have. And so I'm just kind of holding on to those. Um, I'm going to pass on the 100% pure. This is their bronzer in 
uh, Cocoa Glow. This is way too dark. I'm just not going to use that. I can't even use that as an eyeshadow. It just doesn't work. Um, and I'm still holding on to this, uh, the Hourglass. This is their ambient lighting um, palette that came out. I'm still holding on to this. I really do not reach for it, and I guess I should let it go, but it's just one of those things I'm not ready to declutter because I think it was like $45, $55, somewhere in that range. Please tell me it's not more expensive than that now. I don't know. I know they've come out with different palettes since then. But uh, yeah, just kind of holding on to this. I may come back and just say I'm getting rid of this. But um, so far, I'm holding on to it. Uh, this is the uh, cover effects. This is in the shade P40. I'm not P, even though this looks a little bit more golden. Um, gosh, I don't know. It does have a lot of yellow uh, tint to it. You know what? I'm going to hold on to this. I'm just not sure how things are going to go in the summer. So holding on to that for now. I have, I tried to depot. <laughs> not so. Uh, <laughs> I think I got one right. And I believe that was like the second one that I tried to do. These are the Red Apple Lipstick. This is their uh, eye primer. Uh, the Prime Time. They came in packaging like this. This is a little bulky. I like things in Z palettes now. They just fit a little better in the spaces that I store them. I did have pretty much all of them. This is Milady. I'm going to hold on to this one. I think this is the only one that I'm going to keep. Uh, I do have Koi. I have the bronzer, Sun Drop. That's the only bronzer, but that is a very universal uh, shade. But it is very close to my cover effects. This is in the color uh, Sun Tan. I'm going to hold on to this one. Shoot. Do I want to hold on to this? I'm going to hold on to this just for now. Maybe comparisons. I'll do a video later. But uh, let's see. I'm getting rid of Koi. I'm getting rid of uh, Good Vibes, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of doing this. I do have someone that's coming over to look at all of this and see what they want in a little while, so I'm trying to kind of do this fast in the shade Dolly and Got a Glow. This is a gorgeous color. I love that color. I'm debating whether I want to keep that one now or not. You know what? I'm going to keep that one. And then this is the shade Tango. So these are more oranges, and they... I did have to repress them, so they are going to kind of come apart a little. But yeah, Dolly, Good Vibes, Tango, and Koi in the blushes. So I'll put those in the to-go piles. Two blushes that I have in here. This is from the uh, Gabriel palette. And I'm trying to see if there's a way I can take these out. This was um, the Gabriel Metamorph this palette this is in the color bear and I have you guys saw earlier I did take out um, the ones with the little uh, emblem right here those are the ones that were in the metamorphosis palette and this is in the shade promise uh, based on yeah my red apple and these are really not this is this is very close to exposed if you guys remember that from uh, the Tarte palette um, so I'm kind of holding that. It doesn't look like anything special in here, but it really does cast a very nice uh, sheen on the cheeks. These are my Root Pretty uh, blushes that I have. And the Red Apple Lipstick blushes that I'm keeping are just a little more off from that, and so are the Gabriel um, blushes. They're just a little bit different than what I have here. So I'm going to hold on to those. My Red Apple blushes in a palette and keep those so that's what i have so far um i'm going to keep all of if you guys can see i'm going to keep all of my 100 percent pure blushes i really don't have anything vibrant like this anymore um the closest that i have is a gabriel but i love the gabriel that's this is a certified gluten-free brand so i'm keeping all of my gabriel ones um, but i'm gonna hold on to those 100 percent pure ones for now and the bronzers, gosh, do I want to get rid of, I really just do not do highlights. Decide if I want to get rid of sunlight. I did do a video of the cover effects and how close they were to the hourglass. I'm going to get rid of uh, the cover effects in sunlight. I'm going to let that one go. This bronzer by Red Apple Lipstick is so close to my cover effects it just really doesn't show up i'm i'm letting that bronzer go that was 
Sun Drop Bronzer. That was. I'm keeping my Zuzu Lux blush. That one's different. I'm keeping uh, their lip and cheek, but uh, Daybreak and Savage, keeping those. Again, I'm going to keep um, the Gabriel blush. This is in the color Apricot. Uh, this was Peony. This was um, has a highlight. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a shine to it. Really like this as a cream. Uh, blush but it it stays on the cheeks really well because it dries down to a matte formula and then this is my only uh, afterglow blush this is a majestic and I'm gonna keep that as far as the 100% pure blushes in case you guys want to know what uh, they are this is in the color chiffon this is in the color this is actually a luminizer so the fruit pigmented luminizer and then we have their mimosa and healthy blush so those are the four that i'm going to end up keeping this is what i'm getting rid of this is the cover effects uh sunlight illuminizer the 100 percent pure uh cocoa glow bronzer the three eyeshadows in uh sugared quartz and vanilla sugar so for now that's we're, we're doing okay so and I did a little uh, survey on my Instagram page, and I had this color. Uh, this is in creme, and also I had Alpine Rose, and I asked you guys to give me an opinion whether or not you thought based on how I had it on my face. I had one picture of the Alpine Rose and one picture of me wearing the creme. This is in the Fruit Pigmented Tinted Moisturizer by 100% Pure. Asked you to give me an honest opinion of whether one looked better than the other or neither. And I, I really think neither. I thought maybe I could make this work. This was the darker one and it did guess it gave me a little bit of a glowy look, but it was just really the 100% pure, even in the lightest colors, have a little bit too much red or pink undertone and this just did not work. So I was going to try to make this work, tone it down with a lighter color, but I have other things that work better. I'm going to pass this on. The other foundation, the Bamboo Blur Tinted Moisturizer, I'm going to get rid of as well. You can see the comparison to the Super Fruits uh, foundation. Both of these were not right for my uh, skin tone. Uh, you can see the swatches of them. It just was really too dark. It worked well in the summer. Uh, the pictures seemed okay. I did take some photos and they seem very well indoors, but uh, they did oxidize very badly and they looked very orange outside. So I'm going to pass this one on. The next foundation one is the 100% BB cream. I had two of those, one in the 10 Luminous and one in the shade uh, 20 Glow. These two were very orange and they smelled a lot uh, like sunscreen. They seemed to perform okay, but they were really tacky. So if I did not set them, they were gonna be very tacky for me. And the shades were really dark, especially the number 20 uh, Glow was just way too dark and it very orange, uh, as you can see in the swatches. So I am ending up passing these on for sure. I thought I was going to be able to make one of them work, but I don't want my foundation to be complicated. <laughs> you know, I, I want something I know that's going to work and I don't have to worry about it going outside and it being uh, very off. If you guys have seen past videos, you know that I found Root Pretty and those uh, foundation shades work very well for me and not so much uh, of a process to try to get them to become the right color. So I'm definitely getting rid of these. Don't I have the cutest little helper ever? <laughs> I just have to film her. Yeah, she's doing a good job. Yeah, definitely supervising. <laughs> Funny. So as I'm going through my palettes, I notice that this is the Pretty Naked palette. And if I look at the back, it says Illuminizer. And I'm pretty sure that is the same thing as this. It's Fruit Pigmented Luminizer. So I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the full size. I don't need two for now, I think. I keep coming back. The more I go, I'm like, just let it go. I'm also decluttering my closet and clothing and pretty much the whole house so I'll go to a different section and then I'll come back and I'm like you know what I really don't need like I just did with this illuminizer I don't need the illuminizer if I have it in another spot right, I'm going to get rid of I want products to just do what they're supposed to do so therefore my foundation should work like a foundation and I shouldn't have to 
do too much to prep my skin besides moisturization and maybe apply an oil if it's dry in the winter. So I'm going to get rid of the 100% pure luminous primer. Uh, this is full. I've never used this. I did give away another one uh, previously. I had two of these. Why I bought another one, I don't know, because I just want a one-and-done product. I don't want to have to do too much to get ready in the morning. And I am five minutes, ten at the most, and out the door. I don't want to fuss around with stuff, so I'm going to let this product go. go. It's a 100% pure, long-last concealer with uh, Super Fruits. This is in the shade Alpine Rose. And uh, this is a creamy formula. This is a very thick formula. Uh, for a concealer, so this is not something that I would recommend using underneath the eyes, especially when you're in your 40s. It will pick up those lines underneath or any crepiness that you have. I find that in the winter, there's no way I can use this without thinning it down. And I, again, I've mentioned that in this video. I don't want a product I'm going to have to work with that much uh, to get it to look flawless. The colors just are not my true match. And uh, with finding Root Pretty, uh, I'm able to make those work a lot better, and so uh, I'm going to pass this on, and someone with a younger skin uh, will definitely be able to benefit, I think, more from this product, so I'm going to let that go. The Prime Time by Red Apple Lipstick is one that I am holding on to. It's a far better choice, I think, for me. I love that it is a cream to powder form. And this works so well. I actually have two of these. This is my conceal one, and I also have one labeled eye. I'm a bit of a hygienic freak. Um, so yeah, I use this one for my eye and this one on my face. I don't want to cross contaminate these. Uh, yeah, I love that this, like I said, is a cream to powder formula. This one stays creamy, so you're gonna have to set this one. This one I don't have to do that with. So just want to kind of explain that too, uh, what I'm substituting for this and the reason I am able to let this one go. These are the 100% pure. Uh, these are the fruit pigmented powder or foundation powders. Uh, I have it in the shade Creme and in the shade uh, Sand. The Sand definitely has, I can see, I'm not sure if it's showing up on uh, camera, but it is a lot more orange in person. And uh, I originally picked up the darker shade because I wanted to use this as a bronzer, just a shade darker, just to kind of warm up my complexion. And to, uh, not that this does not work, but Creme in the foundation powder I think looks really good on me however creme and every other shade of the liquid foundations just do not work so I'm going to hold on to this I really like that it's made with rice powder so this is this was in a ride or die video because yeah, I'm wearing it and I think I look really good in that video I, let me know if it's wrong because then I'll let this go you guys please do that if I'm wearing something you're like what are you wearing and it doesn't work I want you to be honest I have a friend that I've met on social media and she will just flat out call whether or not something looks good and I appreciate that a lot. I'm not one of those that says, I don't wanna hear your opinion. If it's constructive criticism, by all means. So I'm gonna let the sand go and see if someone else can benefit from that as well. I'm gonna hold on to uh, the creme in the powdered foundation because I really do like it. And so unless otherwise told, I'm going to continue to use this. And I like, again, I love that it's a rice powder um, consistency. And it is very close to um, one of my favorite powders by Gabriel in the shade Bamboo. So I wish their packaging was less bulky. I don't like the sponges and I'm not sure who, how many people do. Um, so, I mean, I think I can remove this and put it in a palette and I may end up doing that. But uh, I think that that's an option um or did i try to do that before and it didn't pop out i'm not sure but uh yeah this color is very close to this and this is a match for me this is probably the only product that really works from uh 100 pure in their foundations whether it's liquid or powder so i'm going to hold on to that i just want to show you guys i'm not decluttering this but this is the uh root pearl mineral powder and uh, it does have the little sifter. I love the locking sifter on this. I really like this. This is the one they match me with. I find that it works really well. I did pick up the G2 because I get lighter in uh, the winter and so from when they matched me I did think I would have to go down a shade then I thought well I'll try G3 5 and see if it adds a little bit more warmth and it really wasn't a, a lot of warmth there was not that much difference and I'll show you guys in a root pretty haul that uh, will be coming up and then as far as being able to create a bronzer I did pick up the G4 and I do find that when I add oils or liquid 
uh, to their powder foundation to make a liquid foundation create a lighter look. So I just want to let you guys know that. And the last product I have is a 100% Super Fruits Lip product. It's nearly impossible to get open, especially if you have fr freshly moisturized hands. I can never get this open. So I have so many colors that I, they're very similar to this that I enjoy more, Root Pretty and also Red Apple Lipstick products. So this is not a color that I don't have a match for or dupe for. So I'm going to let this one go. And uh, that's the last for the declutter. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day. Bye, guys.